certain meetings normally held, the municipal offices are being held remotely with adequate alternative means of public access and where required public participation provided in accordance with House Bill number 58 of the 193rd General Court, which extended the governor's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, MGL Chapter 38, Section 20, until March 31st, 2025. Meetings are typically broadcast on FCAT and are available on YouTube. So with that, um, Tim, so I think we, we just got meeting minutes, Charles. Yep. Yeah, so I just forwarded the, the meeting minutes from our last previous meeting, two meetings. And there were two of them, right? And I, I don't have my, um, but I'm, if you have the dates, I'll make a motion to, because I, I read yeah. them, I, I didn't yeah. see it. I did. Yeah. Yeah, Charles, do you have the dates? Um, uh, one was uh, August 30th and one was September 20th. Okay, so I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of uh, August 30th as written. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, and I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of uh, September 20th as written. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, thank you. You. Okay, and then uh, the main purpose of this meeting is just to go over an uh, updated presentation for Tuesday, our second public meeting. So, Charles, I'll I'll stop sharing. I don't. Are you guys going to bring up your slides? Sure. Yep. Let me make um, your co-host. Thank you. Um, I don't know. Is Dan joining us here today? He was invited. Um, I didn't hear back from him, so I'm not sure he's going to be able to join. He might. Okay. Pop in All right. All right. Yeah, well, so so our 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 basic presentation is not changing. Let me just make sure that PDF up here. So we, you know, we've we've. I guess we should change the date on here. To, yep. I guess it's October second is going to be the date. I think, and then we're going to go through. The first same day. is it October first? Yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes. Um, so we're going to go through the same information. It's um, Jeff's going to get us a revised site plan that shows um, not doing this curb cut and parking along the west side of the building, but including just the sidewalk here, this entrance terrace, and then sort of re doing. You know, I guess we maintaining this parking here on the north side with restriping along the southern edge of that park. And then, uh, so it'll also include, so the demo that's required from the existing driveway, asphalt paving off of Conway Street and re 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 reloaming and, and reseeding this, this, this area here. We'll maintain the connection through here to the police and town offices. This will all this will all show as well. And we'll be able to maintain this tree for now. One you can see ghosted in light. Yeah, so, I, I just I just want to check. I mean, the police actually currently use um, they go out onto Conway Street from the existing art, uh, asphalt that's there, but that's going to be that's under the the new building lot. Right, right. right. So it's got to go. Um, so we, we, it, 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 I mean, it could it could be reworked. I mean, you can see the line of the existing paving. It comes around here, like comes around here. Right. I think the existing curb cut is actually here. So, you know, it would have to be re. You would have to redirect it around and up. And at that point, right. you might as well just do this and. Get that right. This parking. I'm I'm trying to think that what I probably should do is go over and talk to Chief Pachorek and say, look, you know, do you guys need to maintain access from here? In which case, that's a police expense. <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah. Or, or yeah. I mean, or there's or there there or there is a master plan in place that yeah. this is where this is this is like where we're ultimately going to wind up but it might not be this for the foreseeable future or whatever it is that sort of 
the town gets all of this organized on the same right. page. The so, master plan is. So let's talk about that. I mean, I, I know I was the advocate for getting rid of it, but uh, at the same time, I'm thinking, you know, it's obvious that the police are going to want to be able to go out either side. So um, maybe it's better to explain this in the context of we're not exactly sure how this this portion of the, the parking access to the uh, Conway Street is going to be because that's the subject of a wider discussion about parking in the campus. Right. Um, I mean, yeah. So right now, the cost estimate doesn't include right. this. This. This work, right? We, we pulled that out. Right. And you had suggested putting a box around, you know, the the actual old building, new building, and the reestablished lawn or something. And maybe that's an alternative. What do people think as far as like just being able to explain to folks this could be this way, but it may not be this way because we have to work with the police department to figure right. it out. Yeah, I, I, I think we just need to emphasize that you know, the actual surrounding site work beyond what we just mentioned in terms of really tight around the building is kind of TBD at this point. Right. Okay. Um, okay. Well, in that case, I'm, I'm going to, I got to let Jeff know he doesn't have to redo his site plan at this point. Maybe just put that border around here. Yeah. And just, you know, call, call it, you know, scope of work for this yeah. phase. Yeah. Scope of work is better. Don't talk yeah. about phases. Just ask, well, where that yeah. money come from? All right, just, just, all right, scope of work it is. And, and we'll include basically. I got to call them to the room. Yeah. Okay. That's basically. Thanks. Uh, well, so we'll include, you know, this area. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, you know, I think I think it was. We'll you know we'll, we'll review the plans, the elevations again, and the 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 big thing we've we've, we've done is we've um, we've created some additional views. We've created we've created three versions of this view that shows different colors, potential color schemes. And what I think it's important for people to know is that, you know. Um, Wait a second here, I'm sorry. Stop share. New share. We also toned down the white on that version. Um, we kind of made it like a, you know, just a soft off white. So it wasn't right. like layering, you know. Right, so we've toned down the white. I think it's important for people to realize that, you know, these images are gonna look different on everybody's screen and they're gonna look different on depending on the printer that they're printed on. So they're, 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 they're conceptual. And that when we go through the design process, we'll be working with the design committee with actual samples, you know, color samples, material samples, and we'll look at them in natural light. And we'll make, we'll, we'll make, you know, a, a, an informed decision that way. But, you know, I think that we can, we've done these, these other versions um, to show people a range of possible tones. And these are all kind of based on, you know, the Benjamin Moore historic color palette. So they're, you know, they're, they're, they're muted, they're desaturated, they have a, they have a certain kind of tonality, which is, which I think works um, generally as, in, as historic structures. The idea is sort of similar to what we're doing here in the, in this version here is keeping the, uh, the trim and the body and the body of this, the main building, all one color, so as not to keep things too busy, and then and then maintaining sort of this gray putty color for the articulation of the corner and the columns and this sort of porch roof freeze board. So we so have a green version. Yes. So the, the previous one, you it looks like one side is still white. Is that purposeful or is that it's just something? It's just it's just the way the light hits the model, and there's really nothing we we can't do much about that in terms of the way this this. this I'm just anticipating a question. Yeah. Oh, yeah. is this going to be? Well, no, I think that's where we say that you know, 
in, yeah. in, actu in actuality, in real life, the building, the tonality of the color of the building is going to change during the course of the day. And this this right. side of the building faces south, and in the late afternoon, this side is going to be brighter than this side. Yeah. The reality right. of the way light functions. Yeah. So I just we just I, th I think we have to help people through that and just let them know that these are, you know, these are these are facsimiles of what we're going to experience in actuality. The right. light's going to constantly be changing. Right. But you're right. It, it does. This this looks a lot. This doesn't looks like it might be a brighter white than this, but the same white. That's interesting. Yep. The eye perceives it. We've got a green version, um, which which I kind of like. I like both the green and the blue. Actually, I think they mm -hmm. it, it does it. I think they contrast nicely with the, the white church in the background and the red building. They are building. And this is this is a version uh, that was supposed to be yellow. For some reason, it rendered more of a pumpkin orange. But so don't be don't be alarmed. We can we can work on this, but to make it more of a historic yellow. But that's that's the idea. You use lose this one. <laughs> no, I mean it's. Yeah. It's I mean maybe. I mean maybe we just need these two. We you know we got the white one, the toned down white, and the blue and the green. It's probably nice. enough. Yeah. Although, you know, having one that everybody's just going to go, oh my God, that's awful. <laughs> right. That, that's the, what if that's the red, what's it called there? Um, the red herring or whatever. Yeah. It's something like that. <laughs> it's the sacrificial lamb. I don't know, whatever, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I want to put out something that's at least credible. So we'll, we'll, sure. um, and with the we'll, blue, we'll the work. Green, with the blue and the green, we would tie that back to the original building too, with the trim paint. Like the, it's green now, so the green version kind of ties in with that. If we if we went with blue, we would change the existing building trim to blue. Mm -hmm. as well, just so it all kind of makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the pumpkin, the pumpkin. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> well, yeah. we can. We can, we can either. I th I think what we do is we just get rid of this option. We just we present the white option, the green option, the blue option. And now, as people know, we're flexible. We're thinking about different ideas. It's a conversation. It's going to be ongoing. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to necessarily invite the whole debate and conversation <laughs> to the group, right? I mean. Yeah. It was a topic well, of conversation last time. We were trying to think of a way to to review it without opening it up for right. you know, to be right. I mean, I think I think what we can say is that you know we the 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 one concern that people had was the color. So we've done these two studies that show what different colors look like on the building. It's an ongoing conversation. And we don't have to invite any more sort of input than that necessarily. Yeah. You know, people are free. People are free to comment, but yeah, I think that we can present it as this is an on. Yeah. Um. So we'll you know we'll weave those in to. Uh, um. Our presentation. No, wrong, wrong PDFs. And it's new shit. And then, and then, I guess at some point in here, we'll we'll insert at the end maybe um, P3's cost estimate or, or or budget, which includes our cost estimate. Yeah, and, Is that and right? Julie, yeah, Julie Chalfon, who's not here, obviously. Uh, did a nice job at the finance committee meeting this week, kind of boiling that down. Um, so I'm going to ask her to send you guys what she she did there, because I think it okay, great. Be much easier for people to absorb than P3's detailed cost estimate. Okay, that sounds good. I can't. I don't actually have a copy of it. I just I just saw it. Oh. <laughs> she only presented it, so okay, so, yeah. yeah. But I'll, I, I'll reach out there and make sure she brings her music. I have an early version of it, but it's got wrong percentages. And so you get the right one. Yeah. We're, I can't, you weren't at the finance. <laughs> I couldn't, yeah. yeah. I tried to dial in afterwards, but I. Oh, here, and uh, here's Dan right on cue. 
Right. Yeah, I think just get us whatever information you want us to include in the in the presentation, you know, by oh. the middle of the day Tuesday. Hey, Dan. I'm sorry, I'm late. It's all right, and we'll we'll get that in the presentation. Okay. Yeah, Dan, we 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 just went through the uh, the presentation quickly, and um, it's it's basically going to be the same as it was last time around with the additional color studies we've done. Nice. Just, Dancing yeah. those colors. I'll, I'll run them. Let me run through them quickly. Yeah. Um, Let's see, see if we all react the same way. <laughs> <laughs> is this a test, Tim? Yes, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a test. So this was this is the the white version. Karen toned yeah. down the white a little bit, but so but you know it's still it's brighter on the south facing side naturally because that's where the sun's coming from. But it is toned down. Uh, then we have a, a, a sort of a historic green version where we're maintaining a solid body color with the trim sort of all tying together and then this gray putty tone for the for the porch columns and, and the corner. We have a blue version and it's doing the same kind of thing with a different color. And we have the pumpkin spice color here. Sort of throw people off. We're gonna we're gonna we're actually gonna take this 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 um version and tone it down a little bit to make it more like a historic yellow than this orangey yellow. It's just the way it came out. There. Or actually, what we talked about doing was was omitting this slide altogether and just having the, these three slides that, that show a range of options and how they appear on the building. Yeah, so we'll have these three options, and and we'll let the public know that. This is, in, this is in response to what we heard at the last meeting, look, wanted to look at options and it's an ongoing conversation and actual colors will be talked about with the building committee and we'll look at actual paint samples in daylight and you know mock-up boards to really get, make sure we get this. Dan, you're speechless. Well, I, I, um, I, the, to me, the green works. Uh, the 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 white works the green works i don't think the other two work you don't you don't crazy about the blue one no not really yeah that's that's fine i mean i think it shows an option did you guys all like the did you guys all like the blue i, I the like green the green was, okay, and i green. thought the the, the, the off white was good too um, i mean I, but, I mean i mean I, my favorite is my preferred is the white but um and I think I think we heard we had support for that as well at the, at our last meeting. But I think that this is a this is a valid option that wouldn't be that would be you know wouldn't be the think, end of the world. You know, I do think you should stick to your theme. You know that you know you, traditionally in New England uh, in the last two hundred years, you know, municipal buildings were whitewashed in this area. Well, yeah, especially the wood framed meeting houses. They're all white. They weren't always, but they are now. <laughs> Charles, did you want to include that inspiration image before this? Um, or? I don't know. What, what do people think about that? Um, I can find it. Let's did you did you put it. up the image that shows the two roof lines in tandem? Oh no, we'll that that's right. We'll get that one. We'll get that. I really think that helps tie the two buildings together. We had talked yeah. about that last yeah, time. Yeah, and yep, and actually that's included in the minutes. And we can talk about yeah, and that and that sort of helps talk about the conversation of why the asymmetrical roof and, and the rationale behind that in terms of the solar supporting the solar roof and looks good. Tim, are you expecting a big crowd next week? Chris, no, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that we get different people, yeah. that we don't have the same people coming back because then it'll be more of a, you know, fisticuffs kind of thing. Well, we're going to come <laughs> in here and say nasty things. And, yeah. Yeah. Because well, they were kind of restrained. I was surprised. I think I'm, that they, I think that they, I think it's hard. I think it's hard to um, go against a project that improves the town that doesn't affect the tax rate directly. Right. It only affects the tax rate indirectly. 
Yeah. I'm having yeah. A Sorry, I'm, I'm having a hard time finding that that image. image. I know it's here. Yeah, Karen, do you know where it is? Do you know where I put that? <laughs> <laughs> now, be honest, Karen. How often does that happen? <laughs> hey, that, it happens more often as we get older. <laughs> I know. In my house. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I do not. We're gonna have to. We'll have to dig it up. Um, okay. it's, it was in one of our. It was included in one of our meetings. Yeah. Well, the finance committee went pretty well. Oh, good. They have some good questions for you, Dan. I was kind of late uh, to the to the party, but it, it seemed to me as though they there was one gentleman that uh, voted no, um, but the rest of them pretty much understood that the you know this is a great way to take care of a building that we can't afford to take care of. Yeah. They yeah, got into yeah. a little bit of a debate, Tim, about what to do with the existing building. You mean the town hall that we're sitting in now? Yeah, yeah the old, the old school. Yeah, uh, that's the the worry I have is that people are going to try to decide what happens three three steps from down the road and and try to interfere with what's happening now. So, I just think that you you commit as a board of selectmen to a repurpose committee. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good way to. Oh, you didn't find the image. So this is that. This is the uh, the image. Is it? And, um, I'm I'm happy to include this as. No, that's um, not the image I was talking about, Charles. What's not? You had a picture uh, uh, of an angle closer to the north, almost uh, almost looking. Uh, Standing in the north, but looking oh. southeast, that oh yeah, no encapsulates, I'll, I'll, I'll... encapsulates both roof lines, really tying the two buildings together, which does not come across it with the color. Right, no, we'll get that. But the, but is the, is, the, is the meeting house image showing up here on your screen? It yeah. is. Yeah. So that was so that so that was the inspiration image. Is, so is that a clabbered sided building or is yeah. And it's clabbered. It's a, yeah, a tight whale clabbered with, you know, these typical volume. sort of Greek revival kind of Eve returns and five over four windows. Well, these are like well, these are five, like 12, five. 12. These are these are 20 over 20 over 20s, 16 over 16 or 20 over 20. Yeah, <laughs> we're not doing that. I was thinking five by four. Yeah. I've never seen a, so, a building like that. Do you, should we include this in the presentation? Greg, what do you think? Because it's you're new to the. I I mean, my only question is the. Uh, there were comments at the last meeting about the the white of the um, surrounding buildings, the buildings in the background, which are you know kind of all whited out. Um, I don't know if you can tone those down a little bit. Um, in, in terms of when you, because you soften the white, which I think looks great. It, it really kind of draws your eye to the old building, which I think was sort of your plan. Um, right. So not detracting from the old building, which I, I think is the right idea. I really like that. I, I like the the off the off white, but set against the the bright white in the back still is is sort of detracting from that. Well, the, so one. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, one thing is that these roofs are not white. These the roofs on the existing building grades. They're probably I, like a I, slate. Yeah, I think what he's trying to say is see if you see if you can't import an image of what's really there. Or I mean even like, yes. it as a blocked out white, you're gonna have to tone it down so it fades to background and not figural. Right, yes. exactly. And, and and I think getting a, a gray tone on the roofs would help. I, I think it, you know, the the tone you have here, I think 
works to alleviate some of the uh, the brightness that we had comments on last time. And I think, you know, but and it also, I think, improves your case in terms of drawing your eye to the red of the old building, which I think is great. Because I All think right, it works. So even okay, if you well, just uniform, go ahead, sorry. Even if you had a uniform color that wasn't white, stark white for the church building, um, it would be better than, you know, because what was happening is that the white from the new construction was blending into the white from the back construction. That's, this yeah, you can sort of see it here when you get the contrast. Yeah. Oh, the that's green, a good point. It really complements the red, but it does, it, I think it doesn't draw your attention to the red the way the, the off-white does, which I, I think was your idea. From what right, you exactly. Yeah. I also think I also think the detailing of the building will be more acceptable um, if you have a more defined church building in the background. You're going to find that the two buildings complement each other. Yeah, and that the campus right. is truly becoming a campus with the figural with the figural uh, uh, monument being in the 1888. Well, you know, I'm happy to go out there and take a snapshot from this angle and see if we can. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I think, I think this it, rendering. I think it would help. I really do. Yeah, I could. Uh, we could probably do that. Um, that's that's kind of. Uh, we could take one this afternoon, or just after this meeting, I could take one and send you various copies, and you know. Okay. Can... Sure. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. See if you can just. Position yourself out there so that you yeah. know you well. You know, you know. Yeah, exactly. You, you, well, need to position, you need to position yourself out there so that you get the 1888 building in the right angle, I'll, like I'll that my, angle right there, so that the rest I'll of it. Will fly. Like every ten, every ten feet, I'll walk up and yeah. down so that I can give you some various angles, and hopefully, one of them is going to fit. All right, great. And you know, we can always hop out there Monday morning. I'm away this weekend, but. Or, or Karen is right there, so yep. we can if, we'll we'll look at your images, Tim, and if uh, if if we can't yeah. get one, if or if, you know we think we we need something different, we'll we'll go, we can still go sure. out there and get it. Yep. we have a ton of photos, but none that are quite right. Yeah, and um, as far as the the old building, I mean, I realize that that was an inspiration for you guys, but it's just going to open up. Well, what about Clavers? You know, and so. We've already said our inspiration is the old New England meeting house, and uh, we'll stick to that. But I, 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 will, I agree with you, Tim. I think that uh, showing collaborates is going to draw them to collaborates. And those collaborates aren't even today's collaborates. Those are tight collaborates, which are, you know, twice as many collaborates. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah, everybody has their kind of like personal image. New England meeting house. I think that having sort of the imagination guide that leaves it a little more flexible than having the image up there. Any negativity in town? Um, I, I think that there's probably more. There's probably more division about the senior housing project, which is doesn't have any real pictures, and and it's not even about. It's about a land. Being able to to do, to to sell land so senior housing can be developed. I think that's the one that's going to be more controversial. And every board that's reviewed this plan has said that we should do it. And you know, to the extent that the finance committee convinces people, or the planning board, or the capital yeah, improvement, Julie was Julie was a champion. I know she is, and she helped work on the earlier iteration of this when when we did the first phase. And um, you know, so. As long as the numbers, I think that she was just waiting for the numbers to look right to her uh, before she threw her hat in the ring this time. But um, so you guys have done a great job. All righty. Well, I guess we'll see you next week. Thanks. Yeah. Tuesday, uh, Tuesday evening. Are Chris, you going to share your final deck with us before? Yeah, like, uh, we'll send it over. Please make sure you have that angle showing the two roofs. I really think it helps your case, Charles. Sure thing, yeah. The, of the uh, architectural differences between the old and the new. It's not just color. You are tying in those angles, and it really does pop in that slide. Yeah, I think we'll get that for sure. 
that was one of your schematic drawings, right? It wasn't one that had color in it. I, I don't remember it being fully populated. No, it wasn't. It was just one of the black and white line drawings, whatever you call those things, because um, it really showed the roof line lining up perfectly. It was really a like, wow, I, I never noticed that. And, or yeah. maybe it was one. That one. That, that's yeah, the one. Because it's like, oh wow, look at that. And it also shows. I think that if you take that with the Revit model you've already made, Charles, and kind of rotate to get a yeah. little bit of the face of the north mm -hmm. uh, uh, roof on there, I think you're gonna. Uh, I think you're gonna see a really nice plane to plane transition there. Okay. Yeah, we'll, 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 we can do that. We can, we can also do a rendered elevation, this view, which is, which, so you get the direct sort of front I, on I think, look. I mean, I don't know how, how developed your Revit model is, but I can tell you that the average person likes to see 3D over 2D. Yeah, well, we can definitely do that. Great. Okay. That's the end of it. Well, uh, so we should talk about if we want to set a meeting between now and special town meeting. So special town meeting is on Monday the 7th at 7 p.m. I don't know if there's a need for the committee to meet in between, but, you know. Yeah, so I we're know. not. I think the only, th the only thing I think that uh, might be helpful is if we met at like 5 o'clock on the day of the special town meeting just to go over who's presenting what and how and uh, are we or, or not presenting or, you know, who, who's handling all of that, who, the roles and responsibilities? So maybe that's just the project team then and not actually the advisory committee. Um, and yes. in, we're still figuring out who's going to be allowed to speak by the moderator right at the beginning of the meeting. Um, right. Yeah. So, no, but that sounds like a plan. So we'll try to touch base on that Monday, October 7th. So you, you, you know your town. I think I think they want to hear from you guys before they want to hear from us. Uh, but I think they they're always seem to have been accepting of having us answer questions. But they right. want that presentation done by the by the by the uh, volunteers. So yeah, the last I, go ahead, Charles. I was gonna say that the last time we the last time we talked about this, I, I thought I remember hearing it. The the, uh, the the design team wasn't going to make the presentation, but the, right. It does I, it make I, sense? I, I don't know what Dan Graves will allow or wants to allow, and we need to nail that down because we typically don't do presentations at these meetings. But however, doesn't mean we shouldn't. Um, and so, Christopher, well, maybe, should... maybe maybe you use that to advantage and not do a presentation. And you know, only present information on the answering of a question because a lot of the people that are coming to town meeting, this will be the first time they see it, and there might be a little culture shock there. Right. I, I actually think that a lot of there's going to be a lot of uh, civic engagement from various points about the projects, and um, so there will be people coming with a fair amount of knowledge of this, um, and it's the money. And the fact that that's not going to hurt the tax rate, that's going to be key to a lot of people's opinions about this and say, look, right now we have an empty building. You know, we're going to, at the end of this, we're going to have a thoroughly modern milling. You know, it's going to be perfectly all electrical, the plumbing, the HVAC, right. all new. Our, our, our employees will have a nice new place to work in that's safe and, and uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, did I did ask Charles to put together what it would cost to run the building? Yeah, uh, just rough. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure how to do that, Dan. Um, well, get your engineer to give us a cost per square foot to run the building. So, um, he should be able to do that uh, based on the HVAC system. It's not going to be exact, but if the question's asked and we can't answer that question. It's it's a it's a potential death knell. It's 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 fine if we can see it and say we're you know we're approximating that utility usage on the building is going to be you know fourteen hundred and eighty two dollars and sixty two cents. Boom, sit down. Because someone will ask that question. 
Yeah, the thing about it is that we are in a time where any new construction, no matter what, you're going to end up with a much higher electric, electric bill to run it because you got all this new stuff about moving air in and out of buildings that draws electricity. So we're in this transition period where we never used to think about energy usage and we could care less about it to now we have to because the code is saying this. So yeah, you're right. Having having a good answer is a good good thing. Yeah, we need to have a good answer for that. And you, you, you're absolutely right, Tim. It is uh, fresh air makeup that causes the energy usage. The right. You know, the lighting, the lighting in this building is cheaper than it would have been if it was the old building. Um, right. But the the change of air, which never occurred in the building, uh, right. costs a lot of money, and and yeah. and, that, and that's the expense. Yeah. And all electric. Yeah, go ahead. I was just gonna say all electric heat pump. Uh, heating and cooling is probably a little bit more expensive than fossil fuels right now. That's why that the, the PV will do some offset, but that's a reality. But you got to look at that. You could look at what it takes to heat that building with oil. If you want to compare, yeah, you don't want to do that because it's a lot lower. It is. Yeah, yeah. it's lower on a cost. The the VRF is the most efficient way. To do this with by therm, unfortunately, in our area of the world, the cost of electricity by therm is so far greater than fossil. It, it it's it's pathetic. It, everywhere else in the country, the electric rates are a lot lower. They're not here. Um, but but to create the therm, VRF is the most efficient way to do it, other than you know, pure. Uh, you know, wind technology or tidal or something else. It's 100% renewable. Yeah, well, if we have some sort of answer, and also it's like, well, this is an entirely new building and you can't compare the energy usage in the old building to the new building because they're just not the same. But because of the... You know, all, you the do is give, all you do is give them the number and sit down. Well, if we have a number, if the number is five thousand for this building, I'm just making it up, and seventy thousand for that building. Yeah, it's know, not going to be seventy thousand. I'm guessing it's going to be around fifteen, sixteen thousand to run that building. If I had to guess, mm -hmm. but I, I, I honestly, I, I, I would think your engineers, Charles, seriously, can napkin figure that out. I don't even know if we have an energy cost for running this building. Not, I mean, not just. We'd have to ask somebody about it. it. Diane, right? right? She doesn't have a way to break that stuff out yet. So. But you have, you have gas there, right? You got gas and oil. Yeah. I I think it's a dual fuel, um, you know. So, in theory, you could turn one off and turn the other one on. Yeah, they did the, they did the dual fuels when the gas company didn't have the capacity, and they would call you. To change to oil, and you got to discount your gas service. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so um, do we want? I think typically the finance committee posts that they they are have a, the ability to have a meeting before the special town meeting, and so maybe we could do the same thing for this. We could just post it saying if needed. Sure. You know, and that way at five o'clock if. We want if you guys don't like the slide deck or something's wrong and you're getting a little, uh, you know how it is right before town meeting, everyone gets a little crazy in every town and every board. There's no exception. <laughs> so let's make sure we're all calm and we all know what we're going to do. Absolutely. That's why I got the 1888 before the senior housing question. Smart move. <laughs> All right. Because they'll right. be cranky after senior housing. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. everyone. All right. Thanks, all. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Right. Bye. Bye.